Hello everybody, Marcos Villegas here being joined with Ryan Bader who's our participant in this Bellator Heavyweight Grand Prix taking on King Mo Lawal in the opening round. You're in a unique situation. You're the reigning champ in another division. Mm -hmm. Coming into this, you have a chance to be a champ champ, yeah, a double like champ. It. You like it, I know you like it. Talk to me about that unique opportunity. Yeah, I mean, that's when we came over to Bellator. Like, one of the things came over to have these opportunities, you know, to be able to go up to heavyweight. Um, you know, for me, it was thinking, oh, I'll go up and fight at heavyweight every once in a while. But opportunity came when they're doing the Grand Prix in a turn before mat. And uh, not only that, the winner gets crowned the heavyweight champ, you know. And so uh, it's a huge opportunity for me uh, to become a two division champ, you know, and it's something that, uh, you know, is a goal of mine after winning and defending the light heavyweight. You know, it's. Uh, um, you know, I want to keep that belt, obviously, but this is in front of me. It's tournament style. If you look at the bracket, there's huge names in it. Um, it's, it'd be a, a, just a cool feather in my cap, for sure. Looking at you, have you put on more size, or is this like normal Ryan? Or um, you know, I put on a little bit of like good weight. You know, I'm uh, I'm I'm over 230, yeah. so. I usually, when I'm training for a fight at 205 pounds, I'm, I'm 220, 222, so a um, little bit bigger. I want to be, I want to be bigger, but I want to be just as fast, just as powerful, just as strong as I am usually at 205. I would imagine there has to be some sort of changes in camp to adjust to the new size. What is it that you guys are looking at to do to kind of combat the heavier guys? Because looking at Roy, Roy's, yeah. Roy's a big dude. Yeah. You know, it, and it's, uh, it's a lot. Of, so usually in my in the training camp for light heavyweight, I kind of tone down strength and conditioning a little bit, you know, halfway through camp. Because I'll go in there and I'll be 230, but I drop the weight fast, so all the training and, and uh, pulling back on that on that strength and conditioning. So we'll keep that strength strength and conditioning, maybe add one more day throughout my camp. And we got a great trainer, Jason Caymans, that you know has has formulated the plan, and we're going to put you know 10 pounds of lean muscle on me. Not only that, we're not going to be any slower. We're going to be even faster. We're going to be more powerful. So when you get locked up with these big guys that are pushing 265, pushing that that weight limit. We're going to be fine, you know, and so um, that's really the only change, you know. And then you obviously you got to tailor your your plan for that specific fighter that you're fighting. But other than that, good to go. Usually, when a smaller guy moves up in weight class, the biggest advantage they do have is speed. Mm -hmm. How much are you banking that speed's going to play a huge factor not only in this Mo fight but the other fights that go on in the tournament? I think it'll be huge, you know. And then uh, that's when people look at me and they don't think I'm fast at all. But then you know you can. Asked Phil Davis and all the guy, you know, guys came up and like, man, you're faster than I thought I thought you were, you know. And so, um, it's just one of those things where I, I need to keep that for sure, and I can't get too heavy where I lose that that uh, that part of my fighting style. And so, I think that's going to be a big factor, um, being able to move in there, be be uh, fluid, be fast, but be strong, um, you know, be. Uh, be hard to take down the whole deal, you know. So uh, that that's kind of the, the plan going in. How do you see the fight with Mel going? Do you guys see yourselves as an even playing field in terms of like wrestling and striking, or do you feel you have a, an advantage at some point, or he does? How do you see all that? You know, he's quick. He's got good hands. Um, wrestling, obviously, he's a good wrestler. But I think I'm just as good, if not better, MMA wrestler. You know, uh, he whooped me back in the in regular wrestling back in college. You know, he's a little bit older. Is that than still me. on your mind? No, I mean, I don't really give care about that, but. Um, but it's always good to get it back, right? And Phil Davis beat me too back in the day, so um, you got that one back. That's for sure. Back, you know. So for, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just one of those. I felt like I fought this fight, fight a bunch, you know, with fellow wrestlers, you know, and and I always. And what's the key then? What's what puts you ahead of the, of the this style that you feel that you have an advantage over? I just feel like I'm, I'm more in my prime of my career right now. I fought this this, this fight a million times, you know. Um, and, and my, a lot of my training partners are, are wrestler, wrestlers with good hands. You know, I fought guys like Phil Davis, and the list goes on with that. And I always excel at those fights, type of fights, you know. I feel like I'm a little bit faster. I hit a little bit harder. Um, have be better MMA wrestling, better control, you know, and, uh, you know, definitely the ability to put you away. So um, I just feel like I do everything a little bit better. Looking at the bracket as well, is there a particular fighter that – you look at it and you're like, I've always wanted to fight with this guy. Is yeah. there someone in this room? Who is it? I think everybody in the in the whole tournament, you know, they, they want to fight Fedor. You know, he's one of my favorite fighters kind of coming up and everything like that. And, and I've I've been fortunate enough to step inside the, the cage with, you know, guys that 
I idolize and, and respect. Um, started watching, you know, when I was uh, high school, you know, coming up. And so, yeah, definitely that's one of the guys that I would like to um, get in there and tussle with, maybe in the finals or something, you know. So, um, but there's not a, a fight in here that you look at and you're like, uh, whatever, you know, every fight's going to be super cool, gives its own challenges, you know, and so I'm looking forward to each and every individual fight in there. Who's the favorite in this tournament? I would say me, you know, I, I, I think I bring an overall game. Um, I feel like I'm in my prime, you know, I'm the light heavyweight champ. I have, you know, I'm, I want I want to be two division champ. And so this is one of those things I think it's my mindset, you know, where I feel like I'm just getting started. Or some of the other guys, you know, they're a little older, they're kind of tail end of their careers. Not me. I'm just I'm just getting going. In terms of this chapter of your career, how is it on this side now compared to when you were in the UFC? Yeah. Are you a lot happier now? How would you compare and contrast it? Yeah, I am happier, you know, and uh, you got a great contract. Um, I'm having fun, you know, won the belt in Madison Square Garden, you know, in front of friends and family, and that was an amazing experience and treated well. So I have, I have nothing but great things to say, you know, and I had a great time in UFC too and have no, no, no uh, bad things to say about them. You know, it's just one of those uh, um, just different, different times in my career, you know, but I feel like I'm the best fighter I've ever been throughout my entire career. I'm smarter. I feel like... Physically, I'm the best I've ever been. Mentally, I'm the best I've ever been. So, um, just one of the things where I think I, I, uh, you know, got to that plateau and I just went right through it. And uh, you know, I uh, keep getting better with every fight. If you win this tournament, are you gonna want to defend titles in both divisions? Do you see yourself just permanently moving up to heavyweight? No, How have I'm you planned that? Uh, you know, I'm a light heavyweight. Um, you know, so I'm definitely defending that and holding on to that one. And then, uh, I'll, yeah, I mean. If, Grab the heavyweight title. I'm going to defend it. Also, you know, I want to stay active, stay busy, and and uh, keep both those belts. You know, so that's a plan. If I have to fight four or five times a year, then that's what we we'll do. Well, if you win, like I mentioned, you'll be in distinct company because there's not many people in MMA that could say they're two division world champions. Here with Ryan Bader. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Check him out. Bellator heavyweight Grand Prix.